Stefan Johansson is able to come out and around Mark Blundell. And Johansson moves into the top five, currently running fifth. Here comes Little Al. There's Johansson. And here comes the white flag. Two miles to go for Andre Rivero. Looking at the second win of the season. Here is Herta right behind him. Guzman trying to close. Interval remains the same as they come through two. Off of two on the backstretch. There's your top three after 500 miles at the Michigan 500. Andre Ribeiro from Brazil heads down into turn three. Working turn four. And ahead lies the checkered flag as Andre Ribeiro finishes 250 laps. Second win in a row for the Tasman team. Followed by Herta, Guzelman. And Al Unser Jr. comes across in fourth. And Stefan Johansson in fifth. Blundell is sixth. So Al Unser Jr. is in the championship catbird seat as he moves to the top of the order. But look at Ribeiro. Boy, is he happy about this one. Oh my, here's Steve Horn once again with Christine. It's becoming a habit, and what a wonderful habit you must be enjoying right now. Well, certainly this is a great victory for Andre. I think we've had some good runs here before, and it's got away from him. And uh, But what a great job the team's done with both cars. We we're at the front all day, and uh, another great victory. Did you tell these guys anything before the start of this race, any veteran words of wisdom to try to keep them calm and collected? I, I think, you know, I work with uh, Adrian Fernandez a lot, and, and, and both him and Andre said it's a marathon race. We've got to get to the last 50 miles and go from there, and that's what they did. The start this time, in contrast to the start in May, this time it was only Emerson Fittipaldi, but your drivers were very close to all of that. Yeah, uh, Adrian in particular said he only just missed some of the debris, and uh, that's the break, so just hope Emerson's okay. See you on the podium and savor another one. Two in a row. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> okay. I have heard the medical report on uh, Emerson Fittipaldi. Uh, here's just a brief report on Parker Johnstone. Uh, he has injuries. They are not life-threatening. Uh, that could probably mean almost anything, and we will wait for a further official update on that. As now Andrew Ribeiro, after 500 miles at Michigan, takes the win and rolls down toward the winner's circle. Makes that right-hand turn, his only one of the day, and he misses it. They're going to have to push the car back to get him into the winner's circle here, but the team will gladly do that. And there now, it's totally official. And River Barrow is in the winner's circle and takes the win at the Michigan 500. And he studied to be a lawyer. And decided instead his life as a race driver would be a lot more fun. And this is the joy that rewards that decision. I told you it was our day, didn't I? That's Christine Horn just off to the right. She's the uh, wife of the uh, car owner you met a moment ago, Steve Horn, and vitally part of that team. We'll be back to talk with the winner right after this. In the winner's column, Andre Ribeiro has taken the win at the Michigan 500, his first victory here. Jack Aroot? Take a look at the steering wheel. Not a rounded steering wheel, more like you might see on an airplane. Well, he certainly flew fast enough, getting the congratulations. Andre, you had one more pit stop than most of the people. Were there any problems or concerns all day for you? No, I think uh, the car was perfect. The Tasman guys made a fantastic job. Uh, but it, unfortunately, is a mixture of a fantastic feeling to be win, but it's a, a sad feeling to see the accident with Emo. I hope he's fine. Um, we can update you on Emerson. I'm sure you haven't heard. He has a fracture in his in his spinal area, but there he has complete use of his hands and arms. He has been transferred, so it is good news. Good. Well, makes me feel better now, definitely. Now, you won in your home country of Brazil, and now you've won in the United States of America in a 500-miler. Are there any differences? Well, it's fantastic. To be very honest, it's very difficult to to put everything uh, out, what I'm feeling. It was a tough race, but it's an incredible good feeling. It's, it's fantastic. I'll tell you the one thing, Gary Gerald, I'm sure we're going to see in just a minute. Andre Ribeiro's trademark, blink of the eye and a thumbs up <laughs> thumbs signal. Up. Gary, <laughs> we got that one down pat. Meet Honda's version of the laboratory rat.
ESPN's presentation of the Michigan IndyCar Grand Prix.